Train the muscles, not the joints. Welcome back to Natural Goland Bodybuilding. Mountain. And today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about something that's not really talked about a lot, but hey, I talk about a lot of stuff that's not talked about a lot. Like the boats in the background who have lost their purpose in life. They're just floating listlessly with no direction. They need to tune in to Natural Goland Bodybuilding so that way they understand what they're doing, all right? They're just like floating there, losing out in all sorts of gains. It's crazy. So one thing I want to talk about today is the rep within a rep. Now, a lot of times people, they oversimplify. You know, a wind coming from all over the place. Stop, stop wind, stop. In the name of Thor, stop. Just for a little bit so I could talk. Come on, man. So there is a tendency when you're first starting off training or when you've been doing this for a while to oversimplify certain things. So what I'm gonna speak about right now is the rep within a rep. And what I mean by this is that each person will have their own individual expression of what the perfect repetition is. Now, I'm not saying this gives you an excuse to do horrible form, but what I am saying is that you're going to notice through certain ranges of the motion that you hit certain muscle groups and then other ranges you hit other muscle groups and that might not be fulfilling your overall purpose for that certain exercise. So. A lot of times people will see how somebody performs a repetition. They're saying, okay, I've got to do it that way because I want the development that that person has. But the funny thing is, is that if you take that person and then another advanced trainer, they may have to do the repetitions differently in order to accomplish the same goal, which is muscle mass, say in a certain area. So one way for you to find out where you are getting the most tension on a muscle group is to perform a repetition in different ranges. And come on, I asked you to turn the wind off. Just flick the switch. Come on, turn the wind off for a little bit. In the name of Thor, okay, all right, you gotta say the name. You have a big ego, Thor. In the name of Thor, stop the wind. Come on, I said in the name of Thor. Huh? Just calm it down a little bit. I know you're excited because I'm in front of the camera. Just, just calm it down a little bit. The gods, such fanboys of the channel. Come on, stop it. Uh, subtlety, I keep telling you, subtlety. You need to learn that. Okay, I'm gonna put the microphone under my shirt. I think that's better. The microphone is under my shirt now, so sorry if it sounds muffled, but at least you're not getting a windstorm in your face. Bam! So what I was saying is this. If you wanna find out where you are feeling a certain exercise, try the 21's method like you do with bicep curls for a certain exercise. So say with bicep curls, when you're doing 21 method, you're just doing the bottom part of the motion, then the top part of the motion, then the full part of the motion, and then you can feel where those tensions are playing out. And I find a lot of people don't do this with bench presses or squats or with shoulder presses. They do not try to find out where are those forces working themselves out. And by concentrating, and using a lighter weight, but by concentrating on a specific range of motion for five or 10 or 20 reps and seeing where you actually feel those forces play out, you might get a better understanding of what's happening in your body and therefore be able to strategize how to perform the rep in order to get the result that you're looking for. So it's not always about just performing a full rep at any cost or performing a repetition the way you see somebody perform it. A lot of times it's about finding out what is that perfect repetition gonna look like for the development that you're after? Now, I just had somebody ask me an interesting question. They said, Jason, do you think that you would have just got the results anyway, eventually, if you just kept on training? Or do you think it was because of the way that you trained that you got the results that you got? Well, I could tell you 100% that when I changed my training around, I got more results when I was in tune with the way that my body moves and also in tune with the proper frequency. So you see this all the time where somebody trains a certain way for 10 or 15 years and they try different methods, but finally they try that one method and they're like, wow, I've gotten results in a certain area I've never gotten before. Like one guy just today told me that he got a bicep peak for the first time in his life or he started to get some bicep gains and he thought that it was just genetic that he would never be able to get them. But once he started to strategize or strategically bicep curl in order to keep tension on the bicep belly, he started to finally grow biceps where he never could before in his life and he had been training for decades. So the thing is about this is that what you do does matter. You do have some free will or some control over this whole process. And what I found was 
a lot of people did not think outside the box or work in a harmony with their own individual body. So for instance, if I squatted ass to the grass, I guarantee you I would have just wrecked my knees and it would not have gotten results for my body type. Now another person squatting ass to the grass is the perfect thing for them and they would get Tom Platt's legs from it, right? So you have to find out where are the tensions playing out first and foremost, and then secondly, start using movements that exploit where that tension is going. If it's acting out on the muscle belly, then you know that you're on the right track. But if it's just causing inflammation or tweaking of the tendons and the joints and stuff, then you know you're probably not in harmony with your body or the way that your body moves. Now again, I always say this disclaimer, work on your flexibility, work on uh, other things that may be contributing to the joint pain, but if no matter what you do, no matter how much rehabilitation you do, you still get problems there's a good chance that that's just not the right way for you to train. And it's good for you to start paying attention to where those forces are playing out. Thor likes that. There's just a little bit of a win there. So feel free to play around with the repetitions. Do certain ranges, just the top range for a workout, then the bottom range for a workout, then the mid range for a workout, and find out where those forces are playing out. And you may stumble across the perfect range of motion or the perfect tension like the perfect constant tension for the muscle group you want to hit by growing in awareness and finding out where are these forces acting out. So yeah, you can always go back to the full range if you want uh, in order for you know sports specific training or whatever it is, but once in a while you may want to concentrate that tension on the area you want to force to adapt and therefore get greater muscle growth. Mountain. And uh, just so you guys know, I will be uploading a podcast on my Patreon page. I'm going to start putting some sort of audio on there from time to time so only patrons can tune in, but I will be doing some sort of podcast on there once in a while, and therefore uh, you get extra content. That's it. That's how I found out how to do it. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do that. Okay, here's the video game of the week. All right, here's the video game of the week here. It's called Knights, Knights Slashers. I never even heard of this game, but I found it in my uh, 90s playlist here. It's a bunch of 90s games. Mm. And uh, yeah, this game kicks ass. It's actually pretty good. I think you guys will like it. It has an 80s theme to it, uh, nice, power-ups and stuff and uh, yeah good old beat em up that's right motley crew this motley crew meets zombies all right let's beat the zombies up now that's an entrance he's got a cool cloak on and everything wow this guy no even has style look at that okay You're gonna puke on me, are you? You're gonna puke on me? Diamonds. Gold. Zombies got cash, man. We're mugging zombies here. This guy's had too much McDonald's. Those boats are just wasting their time. Look at them. They're just sitting there. So yeah, I hope this helps out in your training. Thanks a lot for watching. If you need to get a hold of me, just go to naturalglandbodybuilding.com and thanks to the Patreon supporters and take care for now. Chocolate.